So you wanna learn NPC beats fast? Cool, let's see what I can do. Once you open up your program, it should look something like this. On the left hand side, you can see where it says sequence. Don't worry about what a sequence is right now. You can make a whole song in just one sequence. Underneath that, it says track. A track would be your drums, your bass, your melody. Underneath that, it says program. Now your track gets its sound from programs. Okay, so there are three different types of program. You have drum, and then, which is this first icon here, under where it says track. If you go across to the right, that is your key group. So you have key group programs as well. If you don't know what a key group is, you can take um, one sound if you wanted to and spread it across all of your keys. And then if you go again across to the right, then that is your plugin. So you can load in a, a VST, that will be your program as well. And then you can play in your sounds that way. So let's go back to the first one, which is drums. And as you can see, it's where it says program 001, that is the default program that you would always have when you load up um, a project in NPC Beats. So if you started loading your samples onto these pads now, then that would go over this program. Or what you could do is load an expansion. So, and when you load an expansion, so we come back over here where it says program now, and you press on this little triangle, and then underneath it now, there's another program in there, because it is the drum kit that we have just loaded. Yep, so what we can do now is use that to make our beat. So first, I'm gonna change the tempo. up to 130 and then I'm going to play in a beat. Yep. Keep it nice and basic. And then what you're going to want to do now is where it says track, double click and rename it. I'm going to call it drums. Make sure you always name your track and your program. I don't need to name my program because I used an expansion. So that pro that um, program is named after that expansion, basically. But okay, you've got your basic beat in there now. So let's go over to track number two. And now we're gonna press on key group and just say, for example, now we wanna put in our bass. So let's come back over this side. I'm gonna click off of this expansion and I am going to go to my search here. And I'm gonna type in 808 and then I'm gonna press here where it says sample. Cause I'm gonna use a key group. I could just use a single sample. I'm gonna use this top one. Okay, so there, you double click on that on the one you want to load and it will go into your sample bank. Right here, it looks as though it's empty, but if I come across where it says project here and press all samples, that one I just had would be right at the top. Okay. But now I need to get this into my key group. So in the top left, you have these icons across here. So the third one along is your program edit. Press on there. I'm in audio mode at the moment, so I just need to press on to MIDI. And then over here where it says sample layers and it says none, that's where I'm going to load in that 808. And now I've loaded that in, I can press my keys or my pads. And here, at the moment, that's in chords. We're gonna change that in a moment. So where it says polyphony here, we're gonna change that into mono. If you're working with any sort of bass or 808, you don't want it in poly, you want it in mono. Okay, cool. Now go back home on the first icon here. Okay, so at the moment, if you look where it says pad perform, I'm on progressions. I don't want to be on progressions, so I'm gonna click there and press on some notes. And then I'm gonna change the root note to C. And I'm gonna change the scale to major, the octave I'm going to bring down to two and I'll leave the velocity how it is and then I 
I'm going to play in my 808s. Yeah, yeah, nice and basic. Now I've got my 808s in there. So where it says track two, double click, 808, where it says program 008808, because we're staying organized right now. Cool. So let's go over to track number three. And this time we're going to load in a plugin. So when I press on it, it automatically loads a plugin because I've got MPC Beats set to always load up hybrid when I'm going to use a plugin. Um, but I'm not going to use hybrid. So what you want to do where it says plugin, you press on this bit right here. Oops, you press on this bit, sorry, where it says, and then this is where you can choose whatever plugin you want to use. I'm going to go to NPC plugins, and then I'm going to go to tube synth. Okay, and then underneath that it says default. So it's going to, so default sound of tube synth. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to go to down to where it says synth. And then I'm going to choose whichever synth I want. Cool. So now I'm going to play that in. But what I'm going to do is go back to pad perform. I'm going to take it off notes. And I'm going to go to chords. I'm going to keep it in C major. Because that's what scale we're working in. I'm going to bring the octave up one to three. And where it says scale, um, scale chord here. I'm going to change that to one, three, five, seven. So now if I press on my pad, it sounds like that. And now I'm going to play that in. Cool. So now I'm going to change the name to uh, let's just call it chords and I'll change the program name so what I like to do now is change the program name to the name of the preset obviously you can do whatever you want yeah now I'm going to go to a new track track number four now just saying track number four I want to have a I want to use that same smooth and tight preset, but just for a different melody. That's fine. So the program's already still on smooth and tight, but I'm on the new track now. So now I'm going to record in another melody. Cool. So I've got that in there now. Now. This is what's important. So don't forget, oh, so first of all, most, most important, let's rename that. Now you might put in your second melody there and you don't like the, the velocity. You wanna, well, you wanna turn it down. Don't like the volume, you wanna turn it down. So you're gonna go over to your fader here and turn it down. Let's just play and see what happens. Now as you can see, it turned down all of them. So it turned down what was in track four and it turned out what was in track three because they're both taking their sound from the same program these faders control the program so let's turn that back up so if you want to control the velocity on the midi that's on the track then you find the midi on the track control a and when you've got these bits here you can move these up and down to control the velocity so you can bring it down slightly if you find it was too loud too much and there you go that's how you do that now just say you want to add in another vst so you don't want to use smooth and tight so let's go to a new track and now if you see here right over here it's got a little plus button press on that plus button and then it will create a whole new VST program or plugin program, I should say. Okay, so again, we're gonna choose what plugin we wanna use. I'm gonna press there where it says hybrid because I don't want to use hybrid. I'm going to go to MPC plugins. I'm going to go to electric 
and then where it says default, I'm going to click there, go down to basic, ePiano run. Yeah. Let's adjust the velocity slightly. And now let's record something in. Barely hear those, but they are in there. Let's just have a little listen by themselves. Yeah, cool. So let's take a listen all together. Cool, and to be honest, that's basically it. And there you have it made a quick beat in MPC beats. Obviously there'll be other things you would need to learn, like little things like mixing and arrangement, but those things can come in a later video. But basically that is it. That's how you get started making a beat in MPC beats. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Peace out. Mm -hmm.